Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see multiple mathematical calculations done by using formulas. So what are they? So how they are going to be calculated count, maximum value, how to retrieve a minimum value, median, mean, mode, and standard deviation. And also end of the, the session, we'll come to know uh, how we are going to describe mean, medium, mode, and standard device deviation at a time. So let's see, uh, we'll jump onto our practical strategy and just launch your Anaconda Navigator, then go to your Jupyter Lab. As usual, first import your pandas, then uh, go ahead and import your data set first pt dot uh, read underscore csv so try to get your uh, path of the data file then get your uh, data file here right and try to execute this one right i do have some set of the data over here and if you can see in the notepad also we do have some uh, then the records are here, right? So first, I would like to calculate uh, how count of the records. So to know how many records are available in a particular uh, column, then we have to fire this particular count function. So how to fire that? So just take your first, uh, your data frame, then let's try to take uh, it as quantity column, right? And this is the one, this is the quantity. Then we have to put a function called count. So this is the function we are trying to utilize. In data frame cost sales, I do have a column quantity. In that, I do have a function count. So just try to execute now. See here, I do have 10 records. If you can see, I do have 10 records. So I have 10 records default over here. I can see that. So if you have huge number of records, by that time it will be very useful to know how many number of records are available. So let's say for example, uh, I'm trying to take uh, this particular first record as a null value. I'm trying to save it and re-importing my data set. Right, if you can see here, a null value available. When I'm trying to executing this particular uh, count now, you can see it as nine only because Quant count function does not calculate null values. Count function does not calculate null values. So instead of passing a not null column, it's better to pass your uh, unique column or a primary key type of the column in the count. Then only we can get our uh, exact values, right? If you want to see all the columns data, let's say for example, I'm trying to put over here, I'm trying to get all the columns data. I'm sorry, all the columns are on count. So if you put, instead of earlier, we put quantity as a column here. Now I'm not going to be placed any of the column here. I can execute my count function on data frame. So let's try to execute it now. You can see here, it will display all the columns. So for year, I do have 10 records. Make, I do have 10 quantity nine records, percentage of market share 10, and price is 10 records. So if you place it particularly for a column, it will display for a column, and if you don't place any of the column data frame, will retrieve all the column count count. Right, so this is how we are going to be calculate a count. So let's see how we are going to get a maximum value to the particular column. So let's say I'm trying to pause here same, quantity here, then a max value. So I'm trying to revert my uh, value over here. So if you can see here the maximum value in this particular uh, record in the particular column 2884, 2884 is my maximum value. If you can see 2521870690, all are three digit records only. So just try to save it and try to re-import your data set again, then uh, X0 max one. See here, I get a maximum value. So earlier, like the same way, I'm not going to be placed any column here. I'm trying to executing my data, data set directly by passing max. It will display 
column wise maximum value year maker quantity percentage of market share and price if you can see maker it's a whole bow because in a to z b is the maximum letter what we have in this current data set so b is the maximum one right so oxidation is there i consider first three letters and then k is there but v is the maximum so that's why it fetched whole bow right so in the same way we are going to be get a uh, minimum also sales dot minimum so if you can execute this one it will display all the columns minimum value see here right if you can see here in the year i do have only one record i mean one one uh, record which is a unique uh, that is 2007 it will display a default value now if you can see maker audi so a is the first letter so there is no other one apart from a and if you see the quantity 352 So if you can see here, quantity three five two. So this is the one. So I do not see anything less than three five two. Then uh, percentage of market share is two point eight. So this is the one. Percentage of the market share at two point nine is there. Uh, yeah. So we don't have anything less than two point eight. Then the price of vehicle. So one zero zero eight zero. And if you can see here, is there any value less than ten point eight k? So. 10.08k. I do not see any record less than 10.08k. Right. Right. So in this way, we are going to be calculate our count maximum, and uh, we are going to retrieve our count values, number of files available, maximum value, and minimum values. Right. So. How we are going to be derive average values uh, like mean, median, then uh, what we have mode and standard deviation, right? So what is mean exactly? So mean is the average value, number of values plus uh, sum of the all the values divided by count of the values, right? Let's see for example, uh, I would like to calculate my mean on quantity column. So how do we calculate mean? So let's say for example, call underscore sales dot mean. But here I need to pass my column here. I need to pass my column here. If you can execute this one, the mean of uh, my quantity column is triple nine point one. So like same way, if you want to calculate mean for all the columns. We just mention, we just remove your column and mention data frame dot your function mean. If you can see here, I can see year, quantity, percentage, and price. I do not see a maker because pandas detect automatically maker is a string object. We do not calculate, we do not calculate mean on a string column. So that's the reason it omitted that particular column and displaying. Rest of the columns, so pandas will automatically identify that, right? So this is how we are going to calculate the mean. So how to find out the median? So median is simply the sum of the number of values divided by two, and we are going to add a plus one. So let's say, for example, uh, I do have our uh, values one, two, three, four, five. So the median of uh, this particular set is one, two, three, five. So how many values are there? Four values divided by two, then plus one. So it is going to be the third value would, would be my median. Three is my median. So this, this is how we are going to be calculate the median. So how we are going to be execute here? So instead of mean, we need to pass your median function. So this is my mean and this is my median. Just try to execute it. So in the same way, what it did for mean, it is going to be did for the same for median. It is omitting our column maker because it is a string column, right? Now, how to calculate uh, the next one is mode. So mode is simply the most number of repeated value. If you can see here, I do have one, three, five, three, again three, again three, again four, five. So what is the most number of repeated value 
here three is my repeated value, right? So if you can calculate median here, current score sales dot. Uh, I'm placing quantity column here. Dot more. Right. So before executing that, I'm trying to replacing some values here to get exact output. I'm trying to place this one as uh, 2884, 2884, 2884. I'm trying to save my data set and re-executing the data set. So I can see 2884, the more number of values. Right, I'm trying to execute it now. See here, I can see 2884. If you have all the unique values, then it will display all the values. So I'm trying to revert uh, everything now. So let's say I'm trying to give 434 here. I'm trying to give 284 here. And uh, yeah. And for example, I'm trying to re uh, re-importing my data set and try to execute it now. So I do have one more 2884, I'm sorry. So just remove to here. I'm trying to save it, re-import your data set. Right, so when I'm trying to execute more for this particular one, see here, you can get all the columns if there are no uh, repeated value, right? So in the same way, if you can execute your more without a column, let's see what's the output. See here, you can get the output of all the columns because the mode is calculating only for the column wise. So whatever the number of values it has, it will get the repeated value, but here, you're trying to apply mode on all the columns at a time. So what is the most repeated value? It will get all the values. When the records are unique, it is trying to get all those values. And see here, if you can see here, it is trying to place in those values are null values. Right. So mode is going to be calculated on a particular column only. So you can see percentage uh, here, so it will fetch all the columns because uh, there's no now, uh, I do not see uh, any of the record more than one, right? So how are we going to be calculate standard deviation? So to calculate your standard deviation on a particular column, so just try to apply quantity dot standard deviation. The forms, formulas are very simple. See here, the quantity standard deviation value is 938.13790. And if you can do it for the same without a column name, that will uh, get all the standard, devi standard deviation of all the columns. So the year is default zero because all the values are same. And this is a quantity, this is for percentage of market share, then price column, right? So instead of applying all those values, like mean, median, mode, and standard devi deviation, I would like to get all the values at a time. So to get all your values at a time, we need to pass a describe function here. So when I'm trying to describe in the data frame, that will fetch all those values with respect to column names, then what is the count? Count of the quantity, count of percentage market share, count of price. It's nothing but number of records. What's the maximum value in this particular column? So what's the maximum value in the quantity? What's the maximum value in the percentage of market share? What is the maximum value in the price? So if you can describe this one, you can get all those values. Count minimum standard deviation, minimum value, 25 percentage of the values, 50 percentile, 75 percentile, then maximum value, right? So the describe function will get all those values at a time and you can utilize them whenever you require. And last not but not least, I'm trying to get all the info of my columns and how many bytes or kilobytes or gigabytes was occupied by my data frame. If you can give info here on your data frame, that will fetch all the, uh, okay, that will fetch how many uh, data columns are there and here, there are 10 non-nullable records and data type is integer 64. Make a 10 non-null records and data type is object. So in this way, you can get for all the five columns and end up there, you can see data types. What are the different types of data types? Float is there, integer is there, object is there. I have float one column, integer 64 are three columns and objects are only one column. And last one is memory usage. So 
So memory space occupied by this particular data set is 472 bytes. So this is how we can calculate or you can view and info on a particular data frame. Thank you guys. You can subscribe to our channel and going forward, you can see more advanced functions by using partners.